As 2017 comes to a close, the Fresno Police Department is reporting homicide numbers that are 31% higher than last year. It's a trend top police leaders are already working to stop as we welcome the new year. Many of the murders this year were different than in years past. Action News reporter Santaya Rose joins us now live from the newsroom with more about the Fresno homicides linked to domestic violence. Santaya? Well, Warren, the homicides are among the most personal. This year, four involved sons who killed their mothers. These types of crimes are hard to prevent, but next year a plan is in the works to lower domestic murders. 2017 brought homicide investigators in Fresno some unusual cases. It began in April when investigators say Corey Muhammad went on a racist killing spree, gunning down Carl Williams, Zach Randalls, Mark Gassett, and David Jackson. The first half of the year was the most violent in Fresno. At one point, the city surpassed Oakland's murder rate. Six people also died at the hands of people they knew and once loved. In 2018, officers will be working more to combat abuse in homes. We need to focus on domestic violence as an issue. Uh, having our detectives uh, going out and arresting people that are wanted for domestic violence, getting them off the streets, because we know that's what leads to a homicide. More than half of the homicides in Fresno this year were gang related. 30 involved gangs last year, only 20 did. Already, the way specialty units are deployed is changing to try to reduce gang violence next year. We will be focusing our proactive resources in these areas, homelessness, certainly in the gang areas. We'll have our SRT teams out in the different districts. Uh, they are going out to the districts this year, so they will be focusing on those gang-related issues. Homicides are also up this year in Fresno County. Deputies investigated 26 homicides in 2017 and 21 from last year. Several were from outlying agencies who turned over their cases to Fresno County detectives. Of the cases this year, 46% are solved. Fresno police have reported 56 homicides this year compared to 39 in 2016. 73% of this year's homicides are solved. Another trend officers have seen in the past few years is the number of homeless people being killed. Last year, six were homicide victims. This year, there were seven. And statewide, many other agencies have also reported higher homicide rates, so the trend is not exclusive to the Central Valley. From the newsroom, Santaya Rose, ABC 30 Action News.